my name is Frances Emily Wright and I am a nurse turned entrepreneur and now career coach for nurses. And I wanted to share with you today my eight year nursing career all the way back from when I decided to go to nursing school through quitting two different nursing jobs and now coming out on the other side, finally feeling like I'm on the right path, um, but certainly on a path very different than I ever imagined and one that might come as a surprise to you too. And I do hope by sharing my experiences, you might be able to find your own piece of your story um, coming out in my story. And I hope that can just provide a little reassurance for you that you're not alone in feeling this struggle to find the right nursing job for you. I feel like we come out of nursing school with certain expectations about what our careers will be like and oftentimes it's not what we expect and it can be disappointing to some. So I just wanna share in like full honesty and transparency in the hopes that you can be reminded that you're not alone. So with that said, I decided to go to nursing school my senior year of high school because I had a health teacher that was actually a nurse. I loved her, she was awesome, she seemed to love her job, and I was like, oh, that sounds like a good idea because prior to that, I had not been ever considering nursing. I was actually looking at colleges for architecture and zoology, and the logical side of my brain was kicking in saying nursing sounds more reasonable to like go to school for so do that so i did <laughs> i got into nursing school i got into a four-year program at the university of rhode island and i really liked school besides the fact that it was like super stressful but i did really well i enjoyed it and i graduated in four years and right after school um, there was an opportunity for a critical care internship program at a local hospital that we were all having clinicals at. And to kind of prove to myself that I could get in, I applied for that. I ended up getting in and I didn't get one of the top, my top three choices for like um, specialties that I wanted to be in. So I ended up in the cardiothoracic step down unit, which like wasn't really on my radar of things I was interested in, but I just wanted to get into the program. So I ended up staying there for a year and a half on the cardiothoracic step down. And um, I felt like I was bored a little bit, which is very unlike the rest of my nursing career. So um, I felt like I wanted a little more. So after about a year and a half, I left that hospital to move back to Connecticut and I got a job in a cardiothoracic ICU. So it was essentially like starting again as a new grad. Um, huge learning curve, super stressful, very high acuity unit, um, but I ended up staying there for three and a half years even though I still wasn't really that passionate about cardiothoracic surgery, but I was just taking the next obvious steps, clear steps that I thought I should take going from step down to ICU. Kind of also wanted to prove to myself that I could be in an ICU and I stayed there for three and a half years. I ended up making a lot of amazing friends there. We were all in like our mid twenties. We went out all the time, we traveled together and that kind of distracted me enough to coast me through for three and a half years, even though I wasn't like a huge fan of the floor that I worked on. Um, and it was just because of the specialty, not because of the people. Many of the people were very awesome. Um, so after our little friend group started dispersing, people went back to school, people went travel nursing, all the things. I decided I should try something different. So I ended up going into a labor and delivery floor at the same hospital and it was not what I expected. <laughs> I lasted there eight months before I quit and I had had like four and a half years of um, seniority at that hospital. So it was a really hard decision and it, I had hit a low point in my nursing career. I felt like I had failed because I had come from a really high acuity ICU. Why, how could I not handle delivering babies? Well, it turns out it was like an emergency room for pregnant ladies and it was very stressful and anxious and not where I wanted to be. Um, so I, <laughs> I also didn't have a very, um, a schedule that I was happy with. So I ended up quitting without another job lined up. Like I said, I had hit a low point in my career. 
um, but I did love being unemployed and not working as a nurse. <laughs> I ended up traveling to Dubai during that time with a, um, one of my good friends at the time, and I loved it. But reality set in, and I knew I needed to have a job. That's the responsible adult thing to do. And I needed money to fund all the trips I wanted to go on. So I didn't know what else I wanted to do, um, but I knew hospital jobs were always available. I ended up seeing a billboard on the side of the highway for a local cancer center that was associated with a very highly renowned um, cancer center in the country. So I was like, oh, well, if they're like associated with them, I bet that's a really good place to work. So I'll apply there. So I applied, I called the manager, I got a job there, and I worked on an inpatient oncology and hospice unit for about three years. And um, it was interesting going from ICU to med cert to medicine floor. I think I judged myself more so. I was like, this is weird. I'm like going from ICU to like medicine. Like, what are people gonna think of me? I think I was the only one thinking that. But anyways, <laughs> um, I, it was better in that it was obviously less acute, but I um, still wasn't a huge fan of having like six to eight patients. I worked straight nights and I still didn't really like my schedule of having to work weekends and holidays and it was fine, but I also just like didn't feel like the right fit. So during that time um, while I was there, I ended up going part-time and I was part-time for about a year and I finally went per diem before a um, few months before I quit. And during that time, I was exploring different options. I ended up um, being trained as an end-of-life doula, which is like a non-medical professional role to help people um, at, at the end of the life. And I did, I did love that, but... Um, I was also just feeling like lost, like, okay, I've tried so many different things, maybe the hospital isn't right for me, not sure what to do. So I ended up finding a nurse mentor and hired her because I was just like, I wanted my life back, I was like so miserable, I had like no structure and routine in my life, and she totally transformed my life and sent me on this journey of personal development. And... After finishing her mentorship and working for like a year on my own journey, I realized that I I needed to leave the bedside. So I did quit about a month before um, COVID um, got really bad, the pandemic in 2020, and I left without a job <laughs> um, lined up and I was kind of feeling like I was ready to help other nurses who were struggling to find jobs. And I knew I was qualified because I had tried so many different things and I actually was starting to do some deep diving into um, entrepreneurship and becoming a business owner and how I could help nurses on my own find jobs that they love. So I got really excited and felt really driven to pursue that, and that is where I'm at now. <laughs> so I went from nurse, being like burnt out, confused, not sure if this is the right path for me, to quitting my job a couple times, to now finally quitting maybe for good and pursuing my own business venture where I have the time freedom and, um, the opportunity for financial freedom um, to create a life that I love. And I'm so excited. I feel so aligned finally with what I'm doing. It just is so fulfilling. So I know that I can find help other nurses find that too um, because of just the tools and the resources people have given me over the past la over the past one to two years. So I hope this is helpful to you as I explained my long nursing journey and um, please comment below if you have any questions about a certain um, point in my career that you'd like me to explain more. Otherwise, um, reach out and let me know if any of this resonated with you. I can totally understand where you're at if you're feeling lost and confused and frustrated and not even sure if you want to be a nurse anymore. I have been all of those things. so. Thank you for listening and I will see you soon.